Hi guys, this is Sanit Ninja Security and welcome to another episode of Computer Tips and Tricks. During this pandemic season of ours, most of our activities are done online via our laptops or our smartphones. It can be lectures, it can be um, buying our products or communicating with each other. But there are some people out there trying to compromise our cyberspace, you know, trying to hack into our computers and mess with it. Others are trying to spy on our activities as well and others are also collecting data on our daily activities to use it for their own benefit. Today, I'm going to lay out the indications that shows that you are being hacked or you are being spied on and ways to prevent it. But before I begin, do all to like and subscribe. So what we're going to do today is going to get a bit technical today, but I'll need your collaboration. Try as much as possible to cope with this. So in order to know that someone is spying on your computer or you are being hacked or information is being transferred from your computer to another system somewhere, first you click on the start menu, type CMD, hit enter and from this screen you type net start and press enter. You will see a lot, a lot of numbers popping up actually, a whole lot of numbers. You see. Um, on the left side you see local ip address on, on the right side you can see um foreign address the local address i've covered mine for security reasons the local address shows your ip address of your computer on the network or the identification given to your computer on the internet and the foreign is where the information from your computer is being transferred to. it can be any other system it can be any other computer someone else's computer somewhere where your information is being transferred to so in order to do that you wait for this whole process to be done with all this loading process to be done then we will continue from there okay so as you can see here the whole process is done so you are going to highlight this whole thing here you left click on the mouse and you highlight the whole thing then you right click then you open notes part actually i've already done one here so so you open notepad and you paste it here then you copy the ip addresses of the foreign address or the numbers here any of these numbers one after the other and you paste it into your web browser and see where information is being sent from your laptop to i know it looks a bit stressful for you but try as much as possible to do another place to consider during this investigation is the tax manager the tax manager is a place where all these hidden processes running on a computer is being displayed but before we begin make sure you are connected to the internet before you perform this activity so you go ahead by right clicking the tax bar and click on the tax manager then from the pop-up menu you click on users and click on the drop down button to show the number of applications running on your computer with their corresponding icons you can scroll through to investigate if some of these softwares weren't installed by you if you notice any malicious software any suspicion you can just click on the software and end the task okay so these are some of the short codes that is used to indicate whether someone is spying on you through your smartphone star hash 21 hash is a short code that is used to display where your phone calls and all your voicemails and messages are being forwarded to so when you type the short code on your smartphone and you press the green button it's going to display where all your phone calls or your messages are being forwarded to star hash 62 hash is a short code used to display where your calls are being diverted to whenever your phone is out of reach it's going to indicate where or the exact number where your calls are being directed to when your phone is out of reach so with the hash hash 002 hash is used to disable all call diversions so the moment you realize that some of your calls are being diverted to a particular number that you have no idea about you go ahead by typing the short code in order to disable all those activities here are some of the preventive measures to consider one preventive measure to consider is by covering your webcam whenever you are not using it most advanced laptops or computers come with um, their inbuilt webcam covers but if you don't have any just get a dark tape to cover your webcam with it 
Another safety measure to consider is by avoiding public wireless or public Wi-Fi. These Wi-Fi usually don't have any passwords on and most of us enjoy connecting to them because they are not paying anything or they are free charges. So they tend to connect to these Wi-Fi. But there are consequences involved. These hackers also hack people through these wireless systems. So do well to be very careful when you connect to these public wireless. Another preventive measure to consider is to log out from your social media apps whenever they are not in use. Most people connect to their Instagram or Snapchat accounts and they never log out. Please do what to log out whenever they are not in use. It makes it very easy for hackers to track you whenever you are always logged in on your social media apps. Using a VPN or in a virtual private network can ensure your security on the internet but not 100% efficient. The VPN will create an anonymous tunnel for you to browse on the internet and prevent hackers from intercepting or your data being transferred or received from the internet. Another way to prevent your privacy from being invaded is by using encrypted messaging apps such as Signal, Waker or Telegram. Thank you for watching this video. Do all to like and subscribe to my channel and leave your comments below. Thank you.